How would you like to WhatsApp your portal leads immediately, regardless of the time of day, one o'clock in the afternoon, 1 a.m. in the morning? What if you had a system that could WhatsApp all your property inquiries coming off various portals, coming off your website, automatically getting them to engage in a conversation with you or your agency and getting the ball rolling so that you can start to deal with buyers who are actually interested in talking to you about their property aspirations. Well, that's what we're going to get into today. So I'm inside a client's account right now. This is one of our longest standing clients and they recently installed the Meta approved WhatsApp integration in their property funnels account. So I'm going to show you very quickly how we've created message approved, well, approved message templates that Meta has to approve and how we've linked that to a workflow which creates the opportunity that regardless of the time of day that a lead comes from a property portal, for example, private property, property 24, the agency website, the, uh, the lead is automatically replied to, thus starting the conversation with the assigned agent. So the first step is to have the WhatsApp installed inside the Property Funnels account. And once that is completed, verifying and connecting a phone number that is approved through Meta. Once that is done, the client or the agency, for example, over here, what we did is we created some message templates. So what you can see here, there's two specific message templates that we created as auto replies for both Property24 and private property and creating a message template is pretty easy. So simply creating, clicking on create a template, naming the template, selecting the category, for example, marketing, selecting the language, for example, English in this case, giving it a template name. So we're just gonna call this one demo P24 um, and having an optional header, body and footer text. So you can use custom variables. And what those basically mean is we have custom variables inside property funnels. For example, a client's first name is a variable. Therefore, regardless of the name of the lead coming in, the system is able to capture the name and then therefore respond appropriately with the name. Other details, for example, the agency name, if you would like to put that custom variable in, you can do that with, without needing to hard code it for every single message. So very quickly, this is how we could do it. So for example, we could just say, hello, and we choose a custom variable. And our custom variable in this case is we wanna assign or we wanna uh, pick the person's first name. So there we go, hello, first name. And then we can, on the right-hand side here, we've got a preview. So we can write, for example, John, just so we can see what our message would look like. And once we've done that, we've got now the body text. So here it could be, so for example, hello, John, thank you for your inquiry on my listing. And then we could say, please reply if you're interested, interested in, oh goodness gracious, in setting up a viewing appointment. So that would help if I could spell interested in setting up a viewing appointment. So the whole key here is what we're trying to generate is response. So a lot of these WhatsApps and emails go out on a daily basis across a lot of our clients' accounts, but only a small portion of those messages that are auto responders ever get responded to. And that's actually a good thing because a lot of buyers actually start in the uh, research phase. They're browsing, they're testing the market, they're looking at what's available. Only after a while do buyers actually become serious enough to start viewing and putting offers on properties. So this is what this specific auto response solves. It solves the problem of, I received 10 leads today, now I need to phone back 10 people. And in actual fact, only a portion of those 10 people is actually interested in purchasing right now. So what the auto responder actually achieves on behalf of the agent is to minimize that calling every single person and instead focusing on the people that actually respond back to these autoresponders. And because WhatsApp is the preferred messaging channel in South Africa, it is in fact the biggest messaging channel in the country, 
it makes sense that your autoresponder would go out directly to the consumer on their preferred messaging channel. So here, for example, we've just asked this and we can sign it off with the agent's name. So we can, for example, say regards, um, and then we can choose a variable, for example, username. So that would be the agent assigned. So we would go to user and we would go to user first name, or it could also be user full name, maybe in this case, user full name. And then we can just put in a, a placeholder for that. So we'll just call it David for now. So now what we've got is a message that says, hello, John, whatever the person's name is, thank you for your inquiry on my listing. Please reply if you're interested in setting up a viewing appointment. Regards, David. And we can also just, for example, put in the agency's name. So here we can just quickly put in another variable. So we can add a variable again, and this will be variable two. And then in property funnels, account and account name. And then we can, for example, say best agency. So now what we've got is regards David, best agency. And then at the bottom, we can actually have some qualifier uh, or footer text, which is op optional, but it could, for example, be an opportunity for you to brag a little bit about your success in the neighborhood or some of your recent um, new developments or maybe marketing something entirely different. So it could be something, you know, voted best agency in Johannesburg. I mean, obviously it needs to be true, but you could use something like that so that your message looks very much like this. Once you're happy with your template, you're gonna click on create and it takes about, sometimes it takes 10 seconds, sometimes it takes an hour for WhatsApp to actually, or for Meta to approve your template. So I'm just gonna wait for this to be approved and then I'm gonna connect this to a workflow. So I'll be back soon. Okay, so that took all of 10 seconds. So right now I'm inside the uh, Property24 autoresponder. So I'm inside the builder of this specific account's autoresponder. And you can see it's a pretty simple setup. And if you have a look at the video um, at the top right, I'm gonna show you how we actually get leads into Property Funnels for you um, on autopilot. So regardless of how many leads your agency receives on a monthly basis, this is an automatic process and it's also a value added service that we give to clients. So go check out that video. So back to this one now, what we're seeing here is a very simple process of a tag being added. So when that lead comes in, we assign a tag to the lead. We wait a few seconds just to give the system some time to make sure that it actually assigns it to the correct agent. And then we've got a few branches here, for example, is it a for sale rental, or is it a for sale listing or is it a rental listing? So in this case, let's just check out the for sale. So you can see here, the first action is a WhatsApp. So if I wanted to add that WhatsApp that we just created, I'm gonna simply click on the little plus sign here and I'm going to search for WhatsApp. And when I search for WhatsApp, I'm gonna be able to select that template that I just created. So it was called Property24 Demo. So there's the demo P24 over here. And you'll see the message preview. If you can see it, it is a little bit dark or a bit light. It just says, hello, contact, first name. Thank you for your inquiry on my listing. Please let me know if you would be interested in a uh, viewing. You're gonna click save action. And there's your WhatsApp now already set up. Then we also pair that with an email so that the person would get an email and a WhatsApp at exactly the same time. And what we're looking for here is, did the lead reply within two days? Remember, what we're trying to achieve here is to actually get people to inquire back to us. We're trying to generate conversations with these leads because as we know, a portion of those leads are browsers and they may never respond immediately. But we do also know that a portion of them are actually serious buyers. So we're trying to shortcut the process of having to respond to 10 people and instead just talk to the people that are responding back to us. And because WhatsApp is such a popular app in the country, it makes sense to actually use WhatsApp as one of our trigger events to see, did the person respond to the WhatsApp within, for example, two days? And you can see yeah, there's two leads sitting here that the system is waiting for them to respond to. So those are potentially your browsers. But if they do respond, we actually notify the agent and we, uh, let the agents take over the conversation. But if they do not respond, so there's the notification for a response. But if they do respond, or they, sorry, if they do not respond after two days, they get a follow-up email. And after that, there is a 100-day portal follow-up. So basically, this is the nurture process 
that is going to follow them for the next 100 days, checking in with them regularly to see if they are uh, you know, getting on well with their property journey. And what we find is month two, month three, month four, somewhere between there, many people actually start to come back on those emails that have already been sent out. And again, three months ago, you spent money on generating that lead off one of the popular portals in the country, but you were never able to really convert that person into a, into a proper buyer because they weren't ready yet. So this long-term nurture helps you recoup the cost that you spent two, three months ago, and you start to actually get your buyers now, which means you never really ever wasted your budget on those buyer inquiries that you received a few months ago. It's just a slight delayed gratification. So this is a very simple process of how we actually help our clients to get more conversations generated on messaging platforms that their customers prefer to communicate on and throughout the app there is the ability to communicate directly with consumers um, as they ask questions or as they leave feedback so if you are keen on checking it out have a look at our website propertyfunnels.club if you like this video please give it a thumbs up um, and please do subscribe to the channel for any further updates as we roll out more videos like these so that is it that is how we connect whatsapp to property portal inquiries and benefits real estate agents and agencies alike. I hope you have a great day. Cheers.